quadratic polynomial standard form ax square plus bx plus c a not equal to zero cubic polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d a not equal to zero then y quadratic polynomial degree is four and degree of a polynomial means what highest uh, power then you study value of the polynomial is uh, replacing the uh, x with the real numbers okay the last we learn zero of a polynomial for example uh, y equal to x minus 3 y equal to x minus 3 how to find the zero x minus 3 equal to 0 x equal to 3 right uh, x plus 4 uh, x plus 4 how to find the zero of the polynomial x plus 4 what is that one x equal to minus 4 right clear no x equal to minus 4 uh, x plus 2 by 3 that is what x equal to minus 2 by 3 okay Dilla, clear now uh, x um, 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 x equal to minus uh, x equal to minus 1 by 2 correct are you okay this all right or not okay uh, personal okay here yeah. uh, x plus x minus 2 by 3 that is x equal to 2 by 3 okay this all we learn now the geometrical representation look at here yes geometrical representation of a zero of a polynomial i'll show you that look at that suppose uh, a polynomial don't write uh, nothing to write just listen uh, i'll explain after that you can uh, write suppose a polynomial y equal to x minus three okay draw the graph uh, of course you know the zero is what x equal to three right minimum three x y uh, 0, minus 3, uh, 3, 0, 2, 1. Okay, like this. You don't want to write this all, right? just for ex uh, expanding on it. Look. Here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 2, Three, okay. X equal to zero minus three. Where is that? Minus one. Uh, minus two. Minus. This is the point. Three zero here. Two one here. Okay. Uh, two. X equal to two. One. Uh, no. X equal to one is uh, X equal to two is wrong. Correct or not? X equal to two is uh, minus one. Right x equal to minus one, yeah, that's why because of uh, three, we found that, okay. Then draw the graph, look, this is the graph, okay. This is the graph of y equal to x minus three, okay. Where this line, uh, where this graph, okay, of course, a linear polynomial, a linear polynomial graph is a straight line, correct or not? A linear polynomial graph is a straight line. Last year we learned that. Okay. Where this line, come on, listen. Where, uh, where this line intersect the x axis? Where, uh, don't connect the video because the network is very slow. Okay. Uh, due to the lockdown of, uh, curfew. Okay. Listen. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Where this line intersects the x-axis, that means three at x equal to three, correct? At x equal to three, that means this coordinate is three comma zero. That means uh, the line intersects the x-axis at x equal to three. Okay, what about zero here? We only got x minus three equal to zero, x equal to three, correct? Or not? That means okay. Listen here, the zero is. Uh, x equal to 0. Look, the 0 is uh, x equal to 3. Correct or not? So that means the 0 of a polynomial, the 0 of this uh, linear polynomial means where the line intersects the x axis is x coordinate. Clear or not? Where, where the line intersects the x axis 
its x coordinate that is called the zero the polynomial this is the geometrical representation of the zero the polynomial are you okay or not where the line where the line intersect the x axis its x coordinate suppose the line passing like this okay then what is zero if the line passing through phi what is zero phi if the line passing like this what is the zero minus 2 if the line passing like this where is the zero my 1 if the line passing like this what is the zero minus 1 correct or no where the line where the line cross the x axis its x coordinate mark of the y axis no use okay where the line cross the x axis its x coordinate okay now my question here three chances there is okay look at here what is the zero of the polynomial my question is only this what is the zero of the polynomial hey what this one this one what is the zero of the polynomial 3 3 number is 3 zero of the polynomial is 3 okay question number 2 how many zeros how many zeros How many zeros? One. How many zero is what? Only one. Why only one? So only it is given. What is the coordinate of the zeros? What is the coordinate of the zeros? What is the coordinate of zero? Is three comma zero. Clear now? What is the coordinate of zero? Is three comma zero. Hello, Asma. Asma. Hello. Yes, ma'am. You get or not? Okay. Last class, you asked me the doubt about one question. That means you can do it again. When I start that doubt question, you are not there. You left. What is this one? And you have no idea about this chapter also. I started with the you can do it again examples. Then you are not there. Okay, now uh, understood or not? Hey, hello. The linear polynomial case understood or not? Clear? Everyone okay? Simple. Where the line, where the line intersect the x-axis, its x-coordinate is called the zero of the polynomial. Okay. One line. How many times cross the x-axis? This this line. How many times cross the x-axis? Listen, listen, my question is listen. Don't ask me question now. Okay, listen. I just started. Okay, uh, look at here. Uh, the because the straight line, a straight line only once only can cross. Correct or no? That means a linear equation has a li a linear polynomial has one and only one zero. Correct or no? Because no chance this line gone, not coming to here like this. A linear polynomial has one and only one zero. Okay, what are the things you learn? Point number one: a linear polynomial only one zero. Okay, two: a linear polynomial graph is a straight line. Okay, now, now my question: what, uh, this line? What is the zero here? This line, line number, uh, line number one. What is the zero? Line number one, Kashina. Line number one. What is the zero? Kashina. Line number one. What is the zero of this line? You can see. Come on, hey, here, hey. Look, this one. You can see five, right? Five. Okay. What is the? How many zeros? How many zeros? One. Uh, what is the coordinate of the zeros? 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 Five comma zero. Clear now? Okay. 
the sir the video problem is not my issue so if you if you want i'll change the net okay let us see uh, just wait i'm changing the uh, connection okay that also same only shows okay let me let me check That also not connecting because you know due to the curfew. Hello, is it okay or not? Let me. Hello, I connect with another net. To take time, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's. Okay, I connect with another uh, because listen now, uh, 5G is not working now. Okay, this is normal net. Okay, look at here now. Look. This month will be like this only because of uh curfew or everyone sitting at home and that much bandwidth there is our net okay uh look at here uh look at here now so you understood now listen the point number one you learn a linear polynomial has exactly one zero only one one and only one what a linear polynomial has only one zero the, uh, the geometrical meaning of a zero is what? Where the line cross the x axis, it's x coordinate. Okay. Now, a quadratic polynomial, suppose y equal to x squared. Okay. y equal to x squared. Look at here. We'll make a graph. Okay. The linear polynomial, only one chance because anyway, maybe it's a, all straight line only. Here. Uh, x, y, I put here uh, minus 3, more point, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Here, y equal to x squared, how much here? 9, 4, 1, 0, 4, 3 here, 9. Correct or not? Y equal, uh, y equal to x squared, right? Y equal to x squared. Because uh, it, it is a quadratic polynomial, we know that uh, only linear polynomial only gr uh, graph is a straight line. We learned last year, we did the graph also. Okay. What happened to this graph? Look at here 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 2. Okay. Minus 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Minus 3, 9 here. Look. Corresponding 9. Minus 2, 4. Minus 1, 1. 1, 0. Again, 1, 2, 4, 9. You get a graph like this. Like this. Okay. Okay. You get the, hey, listen, Logidasha. Look, Logidasha, listen. These are the points minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 2, 7. Okay, next, I'll try. Okay, uh, 1, uh, look, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, 3. Uh, it gives minus 3, I wrote uh, here 9, 4, 1, 0, uh, 1, four and nine. You got like this graph. Okay. This type of graph here, it's not necessary like this always. Maybe uh, sometimes you get like this. 
slide is also. Okay. You can see long after now. This one you can see, right? Sometimes you get like this. Maybe this is crossing uh, minus three plus three. Okay. Sometimes it comes like this. Okay. Okay. Sometimes not necessary. Uh, sometimes like this. Like this also. Okay. Up down. Okay. Uh, sometimes it's like this. Okay. This type of graph. Uh, yeah, it's freehand, freehand. Okay. Uh, freehand only. Okay. Curve, curve we can draw freehand only now. Okay. Uh, how can draw the uh, with the scale uh, in a year? In a year. This one we cannot draw with the uh, scale. Only. Uh, no, 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 no. Combos, how can make it? It is, it is called uh, not combos uh, shape. Okay. Okay. Look at here. this type of graph. It is called parabola. What do you call it? It is called the shape, a quadratic point, the shape of it, the graph of a quadratic polynomial is called parabola. P A R A B O L A. Parabola. Okay. Clear or not? A linear, what? Straight line. Hello? Linear polynomial graph is linear polynomial graph is straight line. Um, quadratic polynomial is parabola. Okay. Now look at here. Uh, just listen. Forget about the time being this one. Okay, look at here. Okay, see here. Suppose a graph passing like this. Minus two plus two. That means this like the graph crossing how many times here? The graph crossing the x-axis how many times? Two times. That means two zeros. How you know, uh, giant? What you uh, uh, telling me? The, you can see the your eyes. This point and this point. Okay, the graph crossing the x-axis two times. That means two zeros. Okay, Lilna, is it okay? Nia, others. Okay, now sometimes the graph is uh, here, just touch. That means only one place touching. Okay, sometimes it's not touching at all. Not touching at all. Okay, that means here two zeros. Listen, a quadratic polynomial, the number of zeros depends on where the line cross the x-axis. That means here crossing two places. Here crossing only one. You can say uh, one uh, zero zero like that, like Tamil music. Okay, one one two two three three like that. Like that here, only one zero only. Here not touch. Why not touch? That means we cannot make the zero here. Like look at here. Like this, look, look, x square plus one. Uh, can you make the zero? No, we, we cannot make zero this one. If we substitute any values, listen here, x square plus one, you substitute any values, negative or positive, can you make this uh, zero? Even look at here, x square minus one, we can make it. x square minus one, you can make it zero. Now I put one, one minus one, zero, minus one. Minus one square, zero. Correct or no? Like that, can you make this one a zero? We cannot make. That means a quadratic polynomial. Listen, that means a quadratic polynomial, sometimes two zeros, two different zeros, or one zero, or no zeros. Clear or not? Clear or not? A quadratic polynomial, sometimes two zeros, or one zero or no zeros. Okay, a quadratic polynomial that is called a quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. What do you mean by at most? Hello, what do you mean by at most? A quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. That means maximum two zeros. Correct? Suppose, look, look at what do you mean by at least? <coughs> at least 5KD required. Listen, at least, listen here. I tell you, what is the at least and at most? Suppose you are going for a picnic. 
ओके एटलीस्ट गोइंग फॉर पिकनिक यू हैव टू पे फाइव के ओके सो ही सेड योर पेरेंट्स ओके एट मोस्ट फाइव इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ एट लीस्ट फाइव एट मोस्ट फाइव दैट मीन्स इफ यू गेट फाइव यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट इफ यू गेट फोर यू हैव टू एक्सेप्ट थ्री ओके टू ओके वन ओके नो मनी आल्सो ओके why at most okay that at the same time at least means what five or above if you get 10 20 also happy minimum you are okay okay like that a quadratic polynomial listen a quadratic polynomial have at least uh, sorry a quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros okay a quadratic polynomial has at most Two zeros. That means maybe two or maybe one or no zeros. Okay. And a quadratic polynomial graph shape is called a uh, parabola, like this, open up and open down. Okay. Now, look at here. Here now. Look uh, here. Uh, come on. This this graph number one. How many zeros here? Here how many zeros? Two. What are the zeros? What are the zeros? Write the zeros. What are the zeros? Minus two and plus two. Minus two and plus two. Then coordinate of the zeros. Coordinate of the zero is minus two zero and two zero. So you have to answer. Chance three questions. Hello, three questions. One is one is number of zeros. Two. Uh, What are the zeros? Two comma minus two. Coordinate of the zeros minus two zero and plus two zero. Are you okay or not? Is it okay? Hello, from the graph you are right. Okay. So then another one. Look at here now. Another one. Here minus five plus five. Minus five and plus five. Okay. Uh, others. How many zeros here? Others, how many zeros? Hello, others. Dilna, how many zeros? Two, two zeros. Which are the zeros? Which are the zeros? Minus five and plus five. And uh, uh, coordinate the zero is what? Minus five zero and plus five zero. Clear or not? Clear. Then here, come to here. Here, only one zero. Here only one zero. Here, uh, here only here no zero because not touching the x axis. Okay. Now that means the graph can be this way also. Look, not necessary always this way. It can be at all you know. This way also, and this way also. Okay. Okay. This one open up. This one is open up. This is open. Now, how we come to know that? Without without drawing the graph, how we come to know whether open up or open down? Okay, question. Look at here. We are not going to draw the graph. We are not draw, because last year we learned uh, where the coordinate cut the x-axis and y-axis like that. Without drawing the graph, how we come to know whether open up or open down? Look at here. Are you okay? Question understood? No power cannot be negative. Kavani, power is not never negative. Okay, power is negative means not a polynomial. Power negative means it's not a polynomial because polynomial definition is what all the exponents are should be whole numbers. Okay, why negative? No. Okay, look at here. That means in a polynomial, look at here. The quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c. The standard form is a x square plus y a x square plus b x plus c. This is the quadratic polynomial. Look, a x square plus b x plus c. You know that, right? We learned last year. No, no, no. Now we listen here. Uh, look at here. We, my question. Listen. My question is how we come to know whether the graph is Open up or open down. Look, in a quadratic polynomial, 
okay that is a x square plus b x plus c if a is greater than zero a greater than zero it is open up that means three x square plus four x plus two it is open up minus three x square plus two x plus one it is open down clear or not that means depends on a if a a greater than zero open up listen in a quadratic polynomial a x square plus b x plus c most important point okay a x square plus b x plus c if a greater than zero a greater than zero open up clear a less than zero open down okay that means look at here uh, come on we don't want to draw the graph look Five uh, x square plus three x plus one. Open up or open out? It is open up here. Minus five x square plus three x plus one. Open down. Clear now? That means depends on a. If a uh, if a less than zero. If a less than zero, open down. If a greater than zero, open up. Uh, x square y equal to x square. It is open up or open down. Open down means what? Log the answer. This one, the the curve. Curve is open up. Okay. This guy. Look at here. Log the answer. Look. Open up means this one. Up. Okay. Log the answer. This is called open up. Okay. This one is what? Up and down. Did you understand that? This, this parabola where is open? Here open or here open? What do you mean? Where is open? Here or here? Up or down? Hello. Up. That's all I said. That means this depends on a. Depends on a. If three uh, x square plus one, it is open up. When you draw the Graph open up minus x square plus one open down. That means it comes like this. It's automatically come down. It's clear now. Okay, is it here? Clear or not? So what are the uh, uh, what do you learn now? In a uh, a linear polynomial, listen once again. A linear polynomial. Has one and only one zero. Okay, a quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. That means two, one, zero. It may be two, it may be one, it may be uh, no zeros like that. Okay, a, a quadratic polynomial graph name is called parabola. Linear polynomial straight line. Okay, and if depends on a. Depends on a. If a greater than zero, the graph parabola open up. A less than zero, what open down? Okay. Another question. Okay, you said. Uh, okay, look at here now. One graph, uh, x square plus three x plus one. One polynomial. Look, one polynomial because you are familiar polynomial now. Are you familiar polynomial? Because last year, uh, how many times we did uh, revision of polynomial? Okay, that that will that will be very helpful to you. Okay, if you remember that. Okay. So uh, look, x square plus three x plus one. Okay, how we come to know number of zeros without drawing graph? How we come to know? I told you, you know. A quadratic polynomial, no, 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 prisoner. It can be two. Hey, listen. No, 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 no. Degree always two only. No, degree always two. Quadratic polynomial degree always two. Because we have three options. Option one, two zeros. Option two, one. Option three, zero. That how come to know? How to how to uh, how we trace that? 
We cannot draw the graph. We cannot draw the graph. Okay. There's a method. Splitting. No, no, no. Others. Don't split and all. Okay. Able. The power is A. Able. The power is always two only. No, no. Degree of X. Okay. Uh, Able. Now, what to do? Able. X square plus one. What will do? There is no X. There is no right. Degree of X square means square means what? A quadratic polynomial always degree two. Otherwise, not quadratic. No. Hey, come on. Listen here. A quadratic polynomial. What is that definition? A X square plus B X plus C A not equal to zero. A X square plus B X plus C. A not equal to zero. If A is zero, what happens? It is a linear polynomial, right? Correct or not? If A is zero, if A is zero, it is a linear polynomial. A cannot be zero. Okay. Yeah, Fresnel is a C. C mark by the look x square. X square. Not depends on C, not depends on A, not depends on A. Then what to do? My question, listen. My question is, my question clear or not? My question is, how we come to know how many zeros? Uh, just now we discuss how we come to know whether open up or open down. That depends on A. If A greater than zero, open up. A less than zero, open down. Okay, now look at here. There is a method here. Listen here. Uh, just listen here. There is a checklist there is. Okay, that is called the discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. What do you call? Discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. No, not criminal. Discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. Look at here. B square minus 4AC. Don't write, I'll give the note complete later, okay? B square, B square minus 4AC is called discriminant of the quadratic polynomial, okay? If that discriminant, okay, for short form, we call D, capital D. If D greater than zero, if D greater than zero, you will get two different zeros, two distinct zeros. That means three minus two, like that, real and distinct zeros. Correct? Able, correct. Real and distinct zeros. Correct? If D greater than zero, then if D less than zero, no zeros. Okay, no zeros. If D uh, equal to zero, no zero, no, no. Imagine that D, uh, D equal to zero, D equal to zero, only one zero. That means repeated one. One, one, two, two. Uh, sorry, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, like that. That means only one zero. Okay, clear or not? Clear or not? The number of zeros, listen, hello. The number of zeros depends on D. D means B square minus 4AC. D means what? B square minus 4AC. Clear or not? Dilna, Nia, Asma, others. Okay. But now you have a doubt how to find out D. Come on. Because we started with the last point. We started with the some uh, Malayalam movies like that only. Last story, first show. Correct or not? Then the actor just turn, movie start. Turn here, movie finish. Like that. We start with the last point. What I said, D greater than C, D, D greater than zero, two zeros. D, D less than zero, D, no zeros. D equal to zero, only one zero. Okay, how to find the D? Look at here. That is called b square minus b square minus four ac is called discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. Look at here. This is a very important point. One more question usually come in exam uh, without uh, calculation. Find the uh, zeros. Okay. Look. Now here a equal to one. X square plus three x plus one. A is what? That's your by heart. Mansui, that's your by heart. We learn. Okay. Look at like a formula only. Okay. A equal to one. B equal to three, C equal to one. Correct or not? 
Okay, now you find substitute here. 3 square minus 4 into 1 into 1. How much? B square, 3 square minus 4 into 1 into 1. 9 minus 4, how much? 5. 5 positive or negative? 5 greater than 0. Correct or no? 5 greater than 0. That means when you draw the graph, when you draw the graph, the graph will cross two faces. That means the, when you draw the graph, this the graph will be like this. Two zeros you will get it. Understood? So you just check b square minus 4 ac. So if it is x square, b square minus, there is no x b square minus 4 ac. B square is what? There is no b. There is no a, uh, c. Uh, only a. Right? b square is what? 0 minus 4 into 1. Minus 4. Right? No, 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 not five in this case. No, no crossing. Not crossing. Listen, number of zeros, crossing, forget about. Who's asked that question? Personnel. Not crossing. Number of zeros. Crossing, we have to, we don't we cannot find out that. Where to cross? That another story. Okay. Personnel, understand now? How many times it's cross? That only. How many number of zeros only deciding? Not where crossing a different story that we'll learn later. Okay, you know, yeah, listen. Look, listen here. If B, listen, company, if B square minus 4 is a minus 4 means no, no zeros. That means if, if B, listen, company, if B square minus 4 is, if you get minus 4, that means uh, it is not touching the x axis. B square minus 4 AC is. Minus 4 means not touching the x axis. It may be, graph may be like this. It's going like this or somewhere here. Clear? Okay. So once again, I tell you, look at the inner, yeah, look at here. Look, suppose a, a, a question uh, 2x square minus 2x. Uh, minus one or plus one, something like this. Two x square minus two x plus one. Okay, a equal to two, b equal to minus two, c equal to one. Okay, so you just find b square minus four ac. B square minus four ac is the deciding factor. Understood now? B square minus four ac is the deciding factor that is called discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. Now look. B um, minus two square minus four into two into one four minus a that is what minus four that means that now we can say how many zeros here how many zeros here in a year hey no zero hey listen yeshv no zeros okay. Don't, don't write zero. If, if you write zero means zero may be a zero. Correct or no? Yes, we understood now. If you just write zero, that means they may think zero is a zero of the polynomial. Zero is a this zero. Zero is a zero of the polynomial. I hope everyone know what is a zero, right? When the polynomial become zero value. Okay. Okay. So uh, that means here B square minus 4 AC equal to minus 4. B square minus 4 AC, we got minus 4. That means this polynomial has no zeros. That means the graph not touching the x axis. The graph not touching the x axis. Is it okay or not? If the answer is 0, means 1, 0. If the answer is 0, look at here. If the answer, look, x square. Minus one. Look, in a yeah. If the answer is one, look, x square minus one. A equal to one. B equal to what? A equal to one. B equal to uh, zero. Uh, C equal to minus one. Look at here. Now here, B square minus four is zero minus four into one into minus one. Four. That means two zeros. That means two zeros because positive value. Quite obvious. Look, 
x square minus 1 equal to 0, x square equal to 1, x equal to plus or minus 1. Plus 1 and minus 1. Amjana, Inaya. Is it okay? Dilla, Nia, others. Prasna. If it's come 1, hello, if it's come 1, if it's come 1, uh, 1, uh, Longidasha, 1 is less than 0, greater than 0, or equal to 0. Tell me. Hello, Logidasha. Yeah, okay. Tell, wait, wait, wait. Hey, uh, listen. One is greater than zero. That means two zeros. Okay. Okay. What is your doubt? Um, X square. I then uh, Aksha, if D equal to zero, if D equal to zero, what happened? Only one zero. If D equal to zero, only one zero. Understood now? Like y equal to, uh, look, we, we notice that y equal to x square. Look, y equal to x square. We, we found in the graph. y equal to x square means what? x square only. b square minus 4 ac equal to 0. That means it is such like this. Like this. Okay? Clear or not? That means, listen, if if b listen if b square minus 4 ac less than 0 no real root you just write no real root that means that graph for parabola not touching the x axis clear or not if b square minus 4 ac greater than 0 you will get two different zeros that means the parabola cross the x axis two places like like this like this. If b square minus 4 ac okay equal to 0, that means the graph touch like this, or maybe like this, just touch only one place. Not necessarily exactly like this. It may be look. Look, uh, maybe look like this. This is what d this one d greater than zero this one if it is uh, like this d less than zero if it is like this that is d equal to zero. now clear or not clear or not anyone heard out come on once again okay once again i tell you uh, Okay. Okay, so now look at here, uh, we, we learned two points. A quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. A quadratic polynomial graph name, it is called parabola. Parabola, parabola two shapes, open up and open down. If A less than zero, open down. A greater than zero, open up. And how to find the number of zeros is, you find, b square minus 4ac. b square minus 4ac, that is called the discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. If b square minus 4ac less than 0, the graph not touch the x axis. Clear? b square minus 4ac greater than 0, it is crossed two places. That means two zeros. Okay? b square minus 4ac um, equal to 0, only one zeros. Okay? Now, all the graph like cubic also depends on the uh, look, suppose the graph touching here, like this. How many zeros here? How many zeros here? Three zeros, right? One, two, three zeros here. Three places. Okay. My question. How many zeros here? How many zeros here? Come on. Are you sure? Crossing only one place? 
Who said three? Ha. Listen here. The the definition is what? Where the where the graph cross the x axis only. This one y axis mark of either. This also mark of either. Only one graph. One zero only. Understood now? Uh, Taufik, clear or not? Okay. Hello, Taufik. Okay. Now, uh, so now we understood. We understood uh, how many zeros how to find out, right? Okay. Um, okay. Now we write these points, right? Take the notebook. GIS guys, keep a separate part. Okay. This one you are not. Okay, right. Uh, polynomials. Right. Polynomials. Okay. Like first. Okay, right. I just start from the uh, right. Uh, the standard form of a linear polynomial is the standard form of a linear polynomial is the standard form of a linear polynomial the standard form of a linear polynomial is ax ax plus b ax plus b comma a not equal to zero a not equal to zero a not equal to zero okay a not equal to zero a linear polynomial has then right a linear polynomial has a linear polynomial has one and only one zero. A linear polynomial has one and only one zero. A linear polynomial has one and only one zero. One and only one zero. Okay. Right. A linear polynomial, a linear polynomial. has exactly one zero, exactly one zero, that is where the line, where the x coordinate, sorry, where the x coordinate, sorry, where the, where the line cut the x coordinate, where the line cut the y axis, where the line cut the x axis, it's x coordinate. Understood? Where the line Cut the x axis, it's x coordinate, that is the zero. Okay. Uh, listen, only your number, a linear, a linear polynomial has one and only one zero. Standard for ax plus b, a not equal to zero. Okay. Then where the line cross the x axis, its x coordinate is the zero. Okay. Next. The standard form of a quadratic polynomial, the standard form of a quadratic polynomial, the standard form of a quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. The standard form of a quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c, comma, a not equal to zero. That's very important thing you should write. A not equal to zero. Why? If a is zero, it should be linear polynomial. Okay, then right. A quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. A quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. A quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. That is, a quadratic polynomial has at most two zeros. That is, 
at most which bracket type zero or one or two. Okay. Then the 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 graph of a the graph of a quadratic polynomial. The graph of a quadratic polynomial is called the graph means the curves, the graph or curves for the quadratic polynomial is called parabola. P A R A B O L A. Parabola. Parabola. Okay. The graph of the quadratic polynomial is called parabola. Okay. If A, if A greater than zero, if A greater than zero, open up. You write like this. Open up, then bracket type like this. Because um uh, no doubt why how open up? Okay, open up a cup. Okay. If a less than zero, if if a less than zero, not arrow, bracket, open up, no need arrow. See, let me like this. Okay, and sweet. A less than zero, open down. Open down. You make a figure open down. Okay. Then next point. Right. Uh, B square minus four AC. B square minus four AC. B square minus four AC is called. B square minus four AC is called. Discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. Discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. B square minus 4ac. Okay, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, okay. I'll wait, okay, complete the dot, I'll wait. Okay, Asma, complete first. Okay, finish. Okay, okay, finish. Uh, wait, wait, and wait. I'll give a Okay, right. Uh, B square minus 4AC is called discriminant spelling D I S D I S C R I M I N A N T discriminant B square minus 4AC is called discriminant of the quadratic polynomial. Okay, in bracket write D capital D. Later now you can use D only. Okay, if D less than zero, if if D less than zero, no real roots. Sorry, no real zero. If D less than zero, no real. If D less than zero, no real zeros. In bracket, right? The curve not touching the x-axis. The curves not touching the x-axis. The curves not touching the x-axis. If D equal to zero, only one zero. D equal to zero. D equal to zero. D equal to zero. Only one zero. Only one real zero. Only one real zero. In bracket, right? The curve touch the x-axis. Only one point. The curve touch the x-axis. Exactly one point. Okay. If D greater than zero, if D greater than zero, okay, two distinct zeros, two distinct real zeros, two distinct real zeros. Two distinct real zeros. 
Okay. Clear now? Okay. That means bracket right. The curves cross the x-axis two times. The, the, the curve cross the x-axis two times. Okay. And you make uh, the last point. If D, listen, I'll show you one graph. Look, you can draw that. This one, what? Here, A greater than zero, D greater than zero. This graph, graph number one, the curve number one. Okay, second one, this one, two. What? A greater than zero, A greater than zero. Wait, wait, A greater than zero. D equal to zero. Next one, like this. What is that? A greater than zero, D less than zero. Now you can understand that. The last point, if D greater than zero, if D greater than zero, we get two distinct zeros. That means two real roots, real zeros. This is the way, okay? Okay, look at the, draw this figure. We come to know that. Okay, draw first. One three. Last point is D greater than zero, two distinct real zeros. Two zeros. That means graph crossing the two places. Look. One, two, three. Clear or not? Which one? Last one. Not touching. Not touching the x axis. Last one, not touching the x axis. First one, touching, crossing two places. Second one touching only one place. Uh, third one, not touch. That means no zeros. Not touch, no zeros. Clear now? Same way, same way you can draw. Look. Look at here, another one you draw. This is what? A less than zero, D greater than zero. A less than zero, D greater than zero. This one, A less than zero, D equal to zero. This one, A less than zero, D less than zero. Correct? Clear or not? That means whenever D less than zero, no zeros. That means not touching the x-axis. Okay. Clear or not? Hello, Jay. Okay. Yeah, good. Draw man, just for information, you draw a rough work. Just for information. Okay. Then who will draw man? Otherwise, for what I'm drawing you. Okay, now okay, how to find the zeros? Uh, you ask me now. That also we can do. Okay, this is the, uh, this is the preliminary ideas of. Okay, okay, clear up here. Just listen. Take two three minutes. Just go through the note. Okay, we'll start from uh, seven thirty five. Three minutes. Just go through the note.
Okay. Finish or not? Any doubt? Hello. Anyone have doubt? Tell me. These are the doubts. Maybe you're asked. Um, how we come to know number of zeros? How we come to know whether open up or open down? Okay. Then how we come to know number of zeros? A quadratic. Okay. Hello. Anyone? When two zeros. No, no. Uh, listen. A a greater than. That's why you look at here. You just check the last two picture. Easy to understand. A is the side a a negative a positive. Not depends on the zeros. A a negative. Listen. A negative is open down. That's only meaning. Understood now. Number of zeros not related with A. Number of zeros not related with the zeros. A means, listen, A greater than zero. Look, minus 3x squared. This is open down. Plus 3x squared open up. Then number of zeros may be different. That you have to find out B squared minus 4x. Clear or not? Is it okay? Brothers, okay, only two points. Uh, listen, I just conclude, uh, then I, I can go to the uh, next topic. Okay, the one is linear polynomial. The standard form of a linear polynomial is what? Ax plus, I just uh, conclude this not, then we'll go to the next section. Listen here. Okay, linear polynomial ax plus b a not equal to zero. Okay, how many zeros? Only one zero. How many times cross the x-axis? How many times cross the x-axis? Only one. Okay, then uh, ax square plus bx plus c is a quadratic polynomial a not equal to zero. Okay, look at here. Uh, a x square. Listen, uh, a x square plus b a x square plus b x plus. Look, a x square. Uh, a x square plus b x plus c. Look. Yeah, sure. We'll give. Listen, a a x a a x square plus. Look at here. We are seriously uh, we are discussing about the chapter. That I want to ask you what time is the Ramadan timing? Look, I removed it. Okay, a, a x square. Listen, don't ask a, a, a different subject in between our discussions. Okay, we can discuss anything in the world after the our topic. Okay, a, a x square. Listen, a x a x square plus b x plus c. Okay, a not equal to zero. And A, B, C are any real number. Okay, like 3x square plus 4x plus 8, like this. Dilna, clear now. Okay, or maybe uh, 6x square minus 1, not necessary B. Don't say, oh, my uh, B, uh, no value. No, no problem, still quadratic polynomial only. Okay, uh, 6x squared plus 3x is a quadratic, but this term we cannot remove it. Understood? No, this term we cannot remove it. That's not only compulsory. Okay, look, I told you, you know, a, a x squared 
plus bx plus c. If you if a zero, that means this is no more. Then it become a linear polynomial. Correct? It become a linear polynomial. That's why a compulsive a should be there. Okay. It can be like this: three x square is a quadratic polynomial. Uh, three x square minus one is a quadratic polynomial. I hope now clear, right? Because last year uh, we discussed this all. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, okay. Then we discuss. Okay. Now, uh, a quadratic polynomial. Shape of the graph is parabola. If there are two types of parabolas, open up and open down like this. Open up, Yogidasha. Okay. This one, open down. If a greater than zero, a greater than zero, open up. That means the value of a is more than zero. That is open up. The value of a is a means coefficient of x squared. Understood or not? You have doubt that a means three x square plus four x plus eight. What the coefficient? What is a here? Three, right? Everyone clear now? Kashina, four uh, x plus three x square plus one. What is the what is a? Kashina, what is a? What is a man? Co a means coefficient of x square. Come on, Kashina. Not the position. Not the position. The coin. I I know that you will answer like that's why I ask you purposely. Okay. A means the coin. Abel. What are you writing? Three equal to a. No. A equal to three. Abel cannot write three. Three not equal to a. A equal to three. Here no. Three wherever it is three only. Okay. A can be changed. Because a is a variable, correct? Okay. Kashina, uh, Kashina, maybe position different. Like uh, one plus three x plus two x square. What is the a? Kashina, A equal to two. Clear now? Okay. So that means if it depends on A, depends on A, open up and open down. Okay. And depends on D, D less than zero, D less than zero, no real zeros. That means the curve not touching the x-axis. D greater than zero, the curve crossing two places, two zeros. Okay. D equal to zero, only one zero. Okay. Now right. Relationship between relationship between zeros and the coefficients of a point. Relationship between relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Relationship between Okay, one minute. Right? 
Okay, right. Uh, relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of a quadratic polynomial. Relationship, relationship between, relationship between the zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Okay. So um, look at here. This you have to by heart this one. Right. Let alpha beta, right, alpha, you know how to write. Hello, alpha. Right? You know how to write that. You know how to write. Hello, alpha, like this. Okay, no, okay. First time we're learning. Alpha and beta. Beta. Hey, you heard about the, uh, science, uh, alpha rays, beta rays, gamma rays, and all, right? A Gulf Indian, Gulf Indian school, one student name was uh, beta, beta. Okay, Gulf Indian school, one student name, beta. Uh, his father name, alpha. The brother is gamma. Okay, he, uh, alpha, uh, beta is studied here. Maybe uh, I'll finish it now. Okay. 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 Now here, alpha is a, uh, a it's a Greek letter like A, B, C, D, and all. Okay. In Greek letter, Greek mythology letter is alpha, beta, gamma, eta, delta. We are using that all. Correct or no? Which, which letter are you using? Alpha you are you using, right? Even physics. Sign, yeah, gamma. Yes, sigma. This is all uh, eta, delta. Right? Yes, omega. Okay, these all uh, Greek letters we are using. Okay, here alpha and beta. Okay, listen here. That means x and y like that. Hey, alpha, beta, beta is a common. Okay, alpha, you will study alpha rays, beta rays, gamma rays in physics. Okay, alpha, yeah, okay, almost like that. Okay. It's like that. Okay, alpha. Okay, you check the uh, reader exactly how uh, what is that? Okay, uh, others. Okay, not variable. Okay, listen here. Alpha, beta are the zeros of two polynomials. Listen, not by heart this all. Okay, alpha looks like you check Google shape of alpha and beta. Or your reader, you can check that part in the picture. Okay. Okay, look at here, uh, alpha, beta are the zeros of a quadratic polynomial, a x square plus b x plus c, because here two zeros only. We don't want gamma here. Next polynomial, cubic polynomial, will take gamma, alpha, beta, gamma, like that. Okay, clear or not? Not best term and beta. Okay. Hey, the others, your school one student name, beta Muhammad, one Malayali guy, his name. Beta Muhammad. Okay. So uh, here alpha one zero, first zero, beta second zero. The relationship between zeros and the coefficient. Look at here. Alpha plus beta, the sum. Two relation here. Relation means what? Relation. We'll study later in the higher classes. Okay. Relation and functions. Relation means relation, friend, brother, sister, like that. But here. Relation means not plus, minus, into. Understood? No, alpha is not brother of beta. Don't say like that. Okay. 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 Alpha, uh, alpha plus beta.
okay uh, look at here the the sum of the zeros alpha plus beta equal to the cos minus minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square that means minus b by a the next relation two relations here alpha beta equal to constant term divided by coefficient of x square that means c by a i'll give the not don't write i'll give the not first the, what you, what are you writing uh, many things i'll exact uh, what are things to write i'll give you the not don't write all things okay i'm concerned about what i have to write okay don't worry about it. so okay how, how what we have to write sure i'll give the not with the topic star mark everything i'll write it okay this is the 36th year i'm in the field 36 okay 36 years same book teaching okay so that much data is in my mind not book okay look okay right okay then right alpha beta right now alpha beta Alpha beta. <laughs> Neither uh, ninety-three. Before that, before I was in uh, Azam Don Bosco School. Neither anyone from here uh, that area, Nagaland, uh, Azam, Guwahati areas. Anyone here? Okay. Okay, now write alpha beta, right? Alpha beta, alpha beta, alpha beta. You know how to write alpha beta, okay? Actually, the Greek, Greek, uh, many contribution uh, in Greek. But you know, your uh, Euclid also from Greek or Egypt? Hey, Pythagoras is Greek or something, right? Hello, I don't know, I forgot. Last year you learned, right? Hello, we learned last year. You can do uh, one chapter name is what? But we didn't take that. What is the name? Yeah, what is the name of that? In that Pythagoras where Pythagoras where studied and uh, no, Euclid geometry, yes. Heron from uh, no no not Heron. Heron is from Heron is I think Egypt, I think. Heron. Okay. Many, many things, many contributions from uh, Greek, that is, but now unfortunately, Greek all uh, financially issues and all that. Okay. Egypt also, there is Africa, many things from Africa. You know, first human originated in Africa. You know that. Right? Hello, you know that. First human originated, that means from the Homo sapiens, uh, from that first human originated in Africa when two lakhs years back. Not one or two, two lakhs years back. Okay, from there only they travel all over the world. In India, around 75 years back only, the, the human came. Okay, not that time, that time only in uh, jungle, uh, cave, and all. But we can see same type, same type people in somewhere. Any, you know, any, any places there? Same type. When when the human two thousand uh, two lakhs years back, okay, not seventy five to seventy five thousand seventy five thousand, okay, not seventy five years seventy five years. My parents there no. Come on, <laughs> what's up? Okay, <laughs> okay. seventy five. Okay, listen. Uh, uh, listen. No, no. Originally, uh, originally in Africa only. Okay, two thousand uh, uh, two lakhs years back. Still, we can find the evidence is still we can see same type of people in India also there is in uh, Andaman Island. Okay, 
what do you call uh, what do you call uh, Jerome? Uh, I forgot. Last year, I wished I planned to go there and see that people. It's very risky journey. Unfortunately, this uh, COVID uh, issue I couldn't. Okay, I I forgot that uh, place. Jerome Island, I think Jerome. In Australia, there is. Australia also there is. Very dangerous people there. Okay, so you maybe read last year. Uh, some guys went to uh, that island. They killed one American guy. You remember or not? He's dead or not? They don't. They don't. They don't like. Okay, that they are the original type. Okay, so uh, come come the point. Oh, come the point. Okay, right? Alpha, beta, come on. Actually, that they are the tribals. They are the original human. Okay, from that, from that only we uh, evolutions. Okay, now we reach the stage after the uh, agriculture started only this much. Agriculture all uh, farming and all around uh, ten thousand years only. Very very near only started. Okay, even now in front of us, we come to know the mutations. Evolutions, the uh, coronavirus, correct or not? Correct. Now we not we see our news in front of us, right? Because before we thought there is no uh, evolution theory wrong, uh, no mutation and all. Now we can see now because their lifespan, virus lifespan is very small. Human not like the human maybe thousand, two thousand years maybe on small changes, but virus not like that. Very Okay, that's a week that changes. Okay, come on, come to the point. Let alpha beta come on. Oh, my my uh, favorite subject this one, uh, the air system and all. Okay, that's right. That maybe I talk. I completely forget about all the mass. Okay, right. Uh, let alpha beta. Some other some other time we'll discuss it. Okay. Okay, let alpha, beta, alpha, beta are the zeros of the polynomial, a x square plus b x plus c, then alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a, alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a, and alpha, beta, c by a. You write here, you write here, here you write equal to minus coefficient of minus coefficient of x divided by minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Kashina, you write alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a. Okay, alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a equal to minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. Then alpha into beta, c is constant. Yes, c is constant. Okay, that's already said now. Abel, why you ask us this question? Alpha beta c by a, alpha beta c by a. Alpha beta equal to alpha into beta. Alpha beta equal to C by A. Right. Constant term. Constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Constant term divided by coefficient of x square. Clear or not? Once again, hello. Once again, alpha beta. Alpha, beta are the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. Then alpha plus beta minus b by a, alpha, beta, c by a. You have to buy hard this one, okay? Now, I'll ask you one question. Ready now or not?
Hello, Alisa, are you getting or not? Okay, now look at here. Uh, just close your book. Hello, close your book. Don't touch the book. Close, close. Everyone close the book. The first point, A, others. Okay, look at here, others. A, X square plus B, X plus C. Alpha plus beta minus B by A. Alpha, beta, C by A. For example, look at here. Three X square minus two X plus one. Example, after this example, I'll ask you a question. Three X square minus two X plus one. What is alpha plus beta? Already negative, minus B by A. So what, two by three. Alpha, beta, what, one by three. Finish. Samja? Two by three and one by three. Other square or not? Hey, one by, Two by three and one by three. Okay. Now we need two by three and one by three. Others, okay. Minus B by A. Minus. Okay. Now, ready now? Okay. Uh, no need to write anything. Look at here. Okay. You have to answer. Uh, 3x square plus 4x minus 1. Okay. First, um, Bilna, what is alpha plus beta? Hello, Delna. What is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is what? Minus 4 by 3. Correct or no? Minus 4 by 3. Okay. What is alpha beta? What is alpha beta? What is alpha beta? Nia. Nia. What is alpha into beta? Sar. Minus 1. Don't miss minus, man. So, yeah, what is the answer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, alpha, alpha plus beta, 4 by minus 4 by 3. Alpha, beta, minus 1 by 3. Right? Okay. No, no, yeah. My question was, what is alpha, beta? Yeah. My question was, what is alpha into beta, not alpha plus beta? Okay, next question. 5x square plus 2x minus 3. Kashina. Hello, Kashi. What is alpha plus beta? What is alpha plus beta? Yes, what is alpha plus beta? Minus 2 by 5. Alpha beta. Alpha beta what? Alpha beta minus three by five. Okay. Again, uh, another question. Hey, Kasina, keep Kasina. Look, three uh, x square. Oh, not three x square. Okay. Yeah, three x. Uh, five, five x square plus one two x. Okay. What is alpha plus beta? What is alpha plus beta? Hey, Sat, Yashvi, what happened? Yashvi, Mansvi, what? What are you telling Mansvi? Look at here, what is alpha plus beta? Minus coefficient of x. Hardisha, not minus one, come on. Look, look at, look at the note, alpha, plus beta is what? Minus coefficient of x. Verona. No, 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 no. Listen. Minus coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x square. X. B what here? This is A. This is what? C. This is B. I purposely, I, prisoner, is wrong. What are you telling? Alpha plus beta minus B by A. B where? Here only. Samjana. Hello. That is minus 2 by 5. Okay. I just, I 
Industry, I just change the order. Okay, minus two by five. What about Casina? What is uh, C by A? Sorry, uh, alpha into beta. Alpha beta what? Hello. Alpha beta. One by five. Okay. Next question. Three plus two x plus five x square. Three plus two x. Three plus two x plus five x square. Come on. Come and down. Alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta what? Minus two by five. Alpha beta. Alpha beta. Alpha beta three by five. Okay. Now, four x square plus three. Four x square plus three. What is alpha plus beta? Four x square plus three. What is alpha plus beta? Zero. Hey, Harisha, how come one 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 by four? Harisha, where is Harisha? Come on. Hey, so many people are commenting. That's why I couldn't find out. Harisha, Harisha, come on. Hello, Pradesha. Don't type fast. You check it. Alpha beta minus b by a. No b here. Look, this is a. This c. No b. That means what? Zero. Agree or not? Hello. Okay. Clear now. I I I'll ask that guys only. Uh, Type because there are so many guys know. I cannot find out so fast. You are typing, okay? Uh, Vidisha, you understood or not? Hello, Vidisha. Okay. Now you are, you answer this question. Five uh, x square minus two x plus one. Five x square minus two x plus one. What is alpha beta? What is alpha beta? Pradesha, what is alpha beta? Come on. One by five. What is alpha plus beta? Pradesha, what is alpha plus beta? Pradesha. Hey, Pradesha. Hey, listen. Pradesha, wait, 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 wait. Alpha, alpha beta is what? Minus b by a. Minus b by a. Only one negative there is. So what? Two by five. Clear or not, Vidisha? Already one negative there. Okay, uh, Dilna. What is alpha plus beta? Dilna. What is alpha plus beta? Three by alpha plus beta. How three? Minus this two. Hey, come on, Dilna. Alpha plus beta minus b by a minus two divided by five. Alpha beta c by a one by five. Okay, another question. Uh, Alisa plus two x plus one. Hello, Alisa. What is alpha plus beta? What is alpha plus beta? Hello. Come on, man. Minus minus two by four. We can simplify minus one by two, correct? Minus one by two. Alpha beta one by four. Um, Aditya, hello Aditya. Your class started now. Which chapter? Real number. Oh, very good. Everywhere a real number only. Okay. Okay. So understood now how to write alpha plus beta alpha. Now uh, uh, this one up to here. Uh, uh, okay. To do the next question, I need tomorrow. I starting. I'll ask you, what is alpha plus beta? What is alpha beta? I'll give you the uh, uh, question here. You have to answer it. Then when I can start next topic. Okay. So prepare that one. Okay. Clear now? This is enough today. <coughs> okay, the polynomial okay now. 
So those who have doubt, you can check the net. I, I'll upload now. Okay.